Okay, so today we have an unboxing of another bit of Ubiquiti Networks kit and also some SPF units, which are fibre network connectors. Okay, so let's get them out of the bag. I already opened the bag up to make this a bit quicker for the unboxing. Uh, in this little bag here, which is an anti-static bag, we have the SPF units. And I'll just get one out of the bag here to make it easier to see. And here's the little unit. Mikiotech. Um, I will probably completely butcher that name, but there it is on the device itself. And this end plugs into the network switch. You can see the little copper fingers there on the circuit board. And the other end, that's where you plug your optical fibre in. And that's why it has this little plug in the end to keep dust out, because you don't want any dust getting in there. Uh, so one of these is going in the core switch. The other one will be going in a media converter that I've got on order. Now, as you may know from the previous video that I released, I was intending to get a PoE fibre unit from Ubiquiti Networks, but turns out that they don't sell them anymore and um, maybe they're just completely out of stock or whatever uh, but you cannot buy them even on their own website i was considering getting it shipped from the states not going to happen so instead um i ordered one of these and that's actually cost less but obviously it's just um, an ethernet to ethernet unit and doesn't have um, an SPF connector in it at all. So what I've had to do is I've had to order a media converter for one of these to go in. This will then connect to the output of that. So anyway, uh, we'll just go over this. Um, you've got the two ethernet ports on the back there. Um, one's an input, one's an output. It doesn't really technically matter which way around you get them um, because the whole point of it is that little conductive bit in the middle which I'll show you when I open it up and you ground that with a grounding wire um, the idea is the shock comes in one side electricity sees a much easier path to ground, ground and just goes straight down that instead of zapping the rest of your kit. I mean, it'll be optically isolated from the rest of the network using the SPF units and the media converter, but still, you want to try and stop the surges where they are. So, okay. A pretty basic little box. That's good. And, yeah, an inter practically an interference fit on the actual product inside. Uh, so let's get it out. Now we've got a little tiny quick start guide, although there isn't much that you need quick start guide wise with these. As you see it says Ethernet in and out, even they don't really mind on there in the grounding point. And what is in the package? And you see there, if you're grounding it, you know, make sure that uh, you either connect it to a metal pole which is grounded or you put a grounding wire on it. Um, these are designed so you could actually have multiple of them in line uh, with your access points. You've got the access point, then you've got one of these up the top of the pole. Further down, you have you know your entry into like your little building or whatever where you've got the services for this, and then you have another one you know inside there, and then you have your power injector. So that's how these would work. So it just has a couple of little entries there and a bit you can sort of trim out even further for a grounding wire. Just slides apart like that. And as you can see, Ethernet in out. And there's the Ethernet connectors. And as I say, the metal grounding point. Uh, they do include the screw with a little serrated washer if you were using that to you know screw it down to something. Um, you can actually use that as the fixing point as well. So if you're screwing it to like a wooden board or whatever, you can put uh, the cable with its 
uh, the grounding cable in, put the screw through that, then through the hole, and you know, screw it into your piece of wood at the back. Um, you do have to make sure you put that little serrated washer in um, on that side with the uh, you know the grounding wire, um, so that it helps bite down and make a good contact. So we'll keep that in there for now because we're not going to be fitting this for a little while. And that concludes the unboxing of this little selection of equipment. Catch you next time.